Ever wondered why individual team sizes are recommended to be between 5 to 9 members? You find this recommendation especially in Scrum, Safe and Agile methodologies. It goes back to the Dunbar's number. Robin Dunbar, an anthropologist in his research, found that there is a limit to the number of people one can have some kind of an historical relationship and this number was around 150. This has been observed from the community sizes in hunter-gatherers to Neolithic village sizes to modern-day active social media contacts. His study further showed that one can have a close relationship with a group of five people, share a level of deep trust with around 15 people, have a meaningful relationship with around 50 people, and an active contact where they stay in touch at least once a year with about 150 people. Now here's a fun fact for you. In his study, he found that those who weren't in a romantic relationship had a close relationship with 5 people and those who were in a romantic relationship had a close relationship with 4. That is, the cost of a romantic relationship is one friend. So how does this relate to modern corporate teams? The definition of team here is a group of individuals who have shared goals. So in Scrum or Agile, the team size is recommended to be between 5 to 9 members so that there is a shared trust among the team members and this shared trust is built through time. Therefore, the teams also need to be long-lived teams. As a group or department or tribe, it is advised to be within 50 members so that they can have meaningful relationship. That is, they fall under the same domain or subdomain and can understand the challenges and help each other out. As a division, the limit is 150 members. In SAFE 2, the number of people under the Agile release train is advised to be under 150. So why not a higher number? While we understand that historically we have seen segregation along Dunbar's number, why not increase it? After all, haven't we advanced as a species? The rate limiter here is a cognitive ability. Cognitive ability is the ability to reason, solve problems and comprehend complex ideas. As the team size increases, the cognitive load for the team increases and communication suffers thereby breaking down the very benefit of a large team. The sweet spot seems to be with team sizes of 5 to 12 members. The key takeaway is the team sizes suggested in Agile, Scrum or Safe weren't pulled out of thin air. They are from researchers which have proved that as individuals and groups we do have scientific limitations. While Dunbar's number is one aspect to consider, Team formation also needs other consideration such as Conway's law. Now that is a topic for another video. If you like reading topics related to organization structure and team interactions, I have suggested a few articles in the description. If you like this video, do comment and share. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do so. Thank you.